Greetings from the shed. Today I'm showing you some pickups that I got at a local um, toy show that I went to. It's Well, not real local, but it's about an hour away. Um, I did do a video too where I was in the parking lot uh, meeting up with my buddy Tony and uh, he sold me some stuff too. And it's, first of all, he sold me this one right here. This case, really cool case right here. Uh, holds uh, 24 cars. It's a smaller one, and that's uh, from the 80s, I believe. Can't, I don't see a date on it right there, but I think it came out in the 80s. Love these kind of cases and stuff. I've got a big Matchbox one and another one from, um, I got one from Hot Wheels from the early 2000s. So I think that's about when they quit making them. <clears throat> and um, this is just a generic one, but I like it. It's got these cases and stuff in the little sleeve, the little trays and stuff in them. Really cool, as you've seen on the video. But if you didn't go see that video, uh, go back and check it out. It's uh, deals, that, uh, die cast deals from the uh, parking lot is what I called it. I don't even need that. I was, thought I would need that to uh, show it, but it's, you can see the better without that. Also, a few other things uh, you've seen, uh, I get in that video if you've seen it, but uh, you can get a better close-up uh, view of this. This is some moving parts. These are from 1995 Matchbox, and this is the uh, Weasel Tank. I uh, thought these were pretty sweet. I like the Matchbox with that uh, logo on the back of them and uh, just that look of the uh, mid-90s. And I don't really have a whole lot of uh, uh, Matchbox. I do have three or four or maybe five of them from that era there. So I thought that was cool. And I don't have any military uh, rides and stuff. So figured I'd grab that one. And I got this one from him. This is the uh, Hummer in that series, number three. This one doesn't have any moving parts. It doesn't say anything about moving parts. But they are pretty sweet. And he also had uh, this right here, this tank. This one does have some moving parts. All these were, uh, what do you say, uh, $2 a piece or was it, no? Uh, I think they were, yeah, two for, they're $1.50 a piece, might as well say, two for three. And this one right here, this NASA rocket transporter, that is awesome looking. I don't know, they're always a rubber band, I just now noticed that. The rubber band has busted in there and it's up underneath there i guess to hold uh hold the missiles in and the missiles are loose as you can tell but hey it's from 1995 or 90 yeah 95 so we're looking at something that's what 28 years old almost 29 years old i guess so hey but uh yeah these are staying in the collection on card I, they just too cool looking and um, I just have to keep them on card. I got some more stuff from Tony. Let's get into that right now. Got these two cars off of them too. These are made by Matchbox 2. Uh, they're a little bit bigger scale, but they're called uh, Speed Rings. One emergency doctor one, and um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of car that is, but uh, of course, the same deal, two for three. Couldn't pass it up. I forgot to uh, let you know that I did spend 15 on the case. He usually spend uh, charges 20, but um, hooked me up. Well, these got doors that open up, really neat. Um, I'm trying to see if I can read up underneath what this is made in England though. It's from 1971, these are really old. And uh, this one's the door opens up too and closes. They're a little bit bigger scale, maybe 43 scale. I'm not really for sure, but they are pretty sweet. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yeah, SpongeBob. Right there, there's a van. I don't know. <laughs> I just grabbed it for, uh, you know, just just to have. I don't know, maybe I'm weird sometimes. He said that this was from 95 or 96. SpongeBob, uh, there's the, the green one, and there is a blue one of the same kind, so I don't care. I, SpongeBob's hilarious. My, I grew up, well, I didn't grow up. My kids grew up with Spongebob. Uh, so I had to watch it, you know. Uh, then there's a beetle bug right here with Spongebob. That's the blue one that goes with that one too. And then there's a green one right there that goes with that band. So you got a little set of four. I don't know if they made any other ones from that time, but it's something different and it is Matchbox. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to add more Matchbox to my collection. So four more for only six bucks here, I had to pick up. 
Well, we will get to the stuff eventually that I got from the uh, uh, sale there, the uh, show and everything, but there's a few more things I picked up from Tony. This right here, the Father and Son Collector Set has the 65 Mustang and the 96 Mustang. So this is, this is um, it says exclusively for Avon, for Hot Wheels. So this is a pretty neat set. I, I've never seen anything like that. $1.50 for that. And I threw in this one for another $1.50. This is a bigger one here. This has uh, exclusive vehicles. It's got a, uh, as you can, I kind of had to turn it down sideways so you could see it because it's so juicy it won't fit in the screen. Blue Book Air. And um, looks like a low rider at the bottom. As you can see right there. And then you have another car, which I'm not really sure what they are, but the, check out that one at the top's really neat. Should say on the back of them, but uh, yeah. And there's the back too. So yeah, two more uh, sets for just three bucks right there. So had to grab them too. And the last thing I got from Tony, he threw this one in for free. It's got a metal base. Uh, it's a Corvette, 1989 Corvette Racer from Hot Wheels. Really cool looking right there. Uh, he just gave me that. We went to lunch and uh, he said he found it and he said, here, this is a freebie. So he threw that in. So that's really cool to uh, add to the collection right there. We'll set it to the side. And then we got some stuff that we actually got from the show. I didn't get a whole lot. Like I said, it is a toy show and uh, I do collect figures and other things, so I did buy some figures and stuff, and I have that video on my Movie John channel uh, that I do that kind of stuff uh, with, uh, and I'll put the link in the bottom to that, but I did find this, and um, a white Hearst right here, I thought it was pretty neat. He had $10 on it, I asked him to do five, he said sure. Uh, I think Matchbox put this out, so I got a lot of Matchbox stuff, I didn't get a whole lot of... Um, um, Hot Wheels this, this uh, weekend when I went to that uh, show, but just a plain white hearse. Uh, I just thought it was pretty cool to add to the collection. I like some hearses, and um, we're going to show you just a little bit more. We got some Johnny Lightning stuff here. The uh, Demolition Derby. This is a pink hearse. Death on two legs. It's got some flowers and stuff on the back of it. Uh, Raymond Speed, it says. Uh, Street Freaks. Yeah, got that one. Also got one from uh, Frightening Lightning. I uh, this one I had to get. This one's crazy. This is the Heavenly Hearst. Check that out. Uh, I mean, it's got everything on it. It's purple. It's got flowers. It's got surfboards on top. I mean, have you ever seen a hearse like that? I was like, sweet. I have to pick it up. It looks like it's got real rider wheels on it. Really neat. That's the um, third hearse. But, nope, I got another one. This is the off-road dirt. It's a dirt nap is what it says. And it's got mud on the wheels and stuff, as you can see up underneath the bottom. Uh, and it has the uh, Ace of Spades on top, which is pretty neat. And uh, just a limited edition here. And just another one in the Street Freaks that, I mean, it's just awesome. So yeah, three hearses, well, four, counting that loose one there. So we'll put them to the side. We'll go ahead and keep the white hearse there by the um, Corvette. And we'll show you one monster truck that I did pick up. I, I don't have this one. It's not that old. It's from 2018. It's Bigfoot. Another Bigfoot for my collection. Well, actually, it's new for 2019, it says. Uh, giant wheels. Yeah, I like the look of that one. Don't have one like that yet. So, yeah, add to my big Bigfoot collection now. I've got quite a bit of Bigfoots and um, just keep getting them. If they're different paint jobs, I'm just gonna keep getting them or they're muddy or whatever. There is a muddy one too that I like to get. But I passed up a long time ago, about a year ago and at Walmart and I regret that. I really wanna find that one. So, but yeah, that's the monster truck right there. And there's what came in that set. You have the Bone Shaker, Tiger Shark, Roger Dodger, Smash Squatch, and the Bigfoot number eight is what that one is. And whatever that says over there on, the, on this side, I don't know how you say that, but anyway. So that's it basically, uh, stuff that I got from Tony. Thanks Tony, uh, I know you're watching and you, you love watching when I say uh, greetings from the shed. And um, this was a really cool show because I also got figures and stuff 
uh, for my other collection of toys and stuff that I collect and stuff. So like I said, I'll put the link in the bottom if you want to see that video um, showing the uh, con on the other side where I show just nothing but the other toys and stuff. And yesterday you would have seen the one where I just show the diecast because I'm a hardcore YouTuber. I like doing both channels, so I can't help it. I like a little bit of everything. But in this video, we do nothing but diecast. And um, this is Diecast Johnny, and I'm going to remind you to keep on collecting.